Seven pieces of bad relationship advice you should never follow. Relationships can be tough. As it gets more serious, new problems and misunderstandings may appear out of the blue. Of course, everyone has different advice for you on how exactly your relationship should be. But even the sincerest words of wisdom can sometimes have a negative impact on your relationship and leave a certain doubt in your mind. Brightside figured out what kind of advice psychologists recommend avoiding at any cost if you want your relationship to be healthy. Number seven, you should find someone better for yourself. A lot of the times, friends and especially family members may see your relationship in a bad light. They truly love you and want to see a perfectly amazing partner by your side. And that's why they keep telling you that he or she doesn't deserve you, simply because your partner doesn't have a lot going on for him or her at the moment. Looking at a relationship from this perspective is completely useless. If you're only in a relationship because you want some personal profit, you're definitely on the wrong track. According to psychologists, profit seeking cannot be an adequate reason to start or end a true relationship. If you both only look at each other as a way of getting money or other material goods, it is consumerism, not love. In starting doing so, you can destroy a really happy marriage or start a life that doesn't bring you any happiness at all. If your partner makes you feel loved, puts a smile on your face, supports and inspires you to go for your goals, then that's all you need. And together, you will achieve anything you want and have your straight out of a dream life. Number six, show them who's the boss. Don't let them push you around. It is believed that in any relationship, whether it's friendship or love, there is a person that leads and the person that follows. And it can be hard for two leader types to be followers from time to time. In this situation, you have to remember that first of all, love partners have different fields of responsibility in a relationship. However, allow yourself to jazz things up sometimes and change your roles so that each of you would understand one another better. Secondly, never forget about mutual understanding and respect. It is the core of any healthy and good relationship. It's not a competition on who's better and cooler. It's the unity where both of you should be equal. That's what makes a strong and everlasting bond. Don't make everything about yourself and your wishes. You are a couple and your partner's voice should be heard and respected just as much. Number five, demand that your partner is romantic. When you're in a relationship for a long time, you start looking at your friends who just started dating and envy how romantic and dreamy their relationship is. All these beautiful dates, flowers, pretty much every day in sweet little presents. Why doesn't your partner do the same? Well, psychologists claim that there's a certain romantic period in any relationship that commonly passes after some time. Partners can't live forever like they're in a romantic comedy, going crazy when they see each other. Yes, rose and candy stage is great, but you can't demand that your partner is in the honeymoon phase of your relationship all the time. Every relationship has different phases of development. Each of them has not only its advantages, but disadvantages as well. Just remember all these stupid conflicts you used to have in the beginning. And now you've come so far, you understand and love each other on a whole other level. And you can still add some fun adventures at any time you want. You basically have the best of both worlds. So if you feel like your life is lacking some romance, don't start a fight with your partner. Just add it yourself. Number four, stay quiet, don't make it worse. Conflicts are an inevitable part of any relationship and it's actually also a very needed one. Through all these misunderstandings and fights, you get to know each other better. Figuring out what is unacceptable to your partner and what is his or her view on the problem. It's almost impossible to avoid conflict in a relationship. And to be honest, it's better not to do it. At the same time, don't forget to resolve conflicts exactly the moment they occur. You shouldn't suppress your feelings and wait until they break out one day because this will cause even more damage to the marriage or relationship. Your partner will only continue to make more and more mistakes because he or she simply wouldn't know that you do not approve their actions. Don't play the victim card. Pitying yourself won't change anything. Be honest and discuss your feelings with your partner instead. Number three, just read their chat. You have the right. In fact, no you don't. Being in a couple doesn't mean that every bit of your partner's life should be devoted to you. Every person needs to have their space and it doesn't equal to him or her not loving you. Such interference in a partner's personal life, making intrusive calls, reading personal chats, tracking locations, is considered by family law specialists to be the first step toward abusive behavior in a family. 
It destroys the main component of a relationship, trust. Your partner doesn't feel any love for you anymore. He or she feels trapped, and the only wish it brings is just to get out. Such actions fall into the category of emotional abuse that ruins the relationship just as much as the physical one. Do not listen to this kind of advice, and do not make your partner a hostage of your jealousy. He or she doesn't deserve it. Number two, just remind him that what he earns isn't enough. Money is a very sensitive topic, especially for men. So be careful with this sort of statements. This advice is a great way to turn a little misunderstanding into a big conflict between partners. Just mention it and be sure that all hell will break loose. You know that if you really want to, you can find a lot of mutual reproaches to make it all even worse. Specialists say that you shouldn't discuss such matters on a daily basis and try not to mention something like this during a big conflict. If you feel like that, the best thing to do is to help your partner to go forward and strive for better. You probably don't want to turn into an annoying husband or wife that's constantly complaining about such things. So just be there for your partner and inspire him or her to conquer more and more new peaks. Number one, look at me and learn. This is certainly one of the worst advice you can possibly hear. Teaching by your own example works better with kids, not with love partners. You are not a child and you shouldn't repeat someone else's behavior. Every person is different, and if something worked with your friend's relationship, doesn't mean it would do the same thing with yours. So, when you have marriage difficulties, don't look at other families and try to copy their way of life. You never know what problems they may face behind closed doors. There is no universal guide on how to be in a relationship. Everyone has their view on happiness. The only thing you can do while watching other couples is to avoid their mistakes. Only the two of you have the right to decide how your relationship is going to be. So don't let other people tell you whether it's wrong or right. If you are happy, then it's all that matters. In any relationship crisis, we're the ones who know the situation better from the inside. So why do we tend to listen to words that might bring us nothing good? Maybe because deep inside we believe that people can see better from the side, giving us wise advice. However, it's a very misleading feeling because your relationship is very complex and full of details no one knows but you two. That's why you should listen only to your mind and your own heart. Deep down, you know exactly whether this relationship is working or not and what you should do to fix it. It's interesting to get to know an outside vision and opinion, but always make the final decision yourself. After all, you are the one who's going to live with it. And now here's a little bonus with harsh but true, silly, and a bit funny relationship algorithms. Don't take it too seriously. We're just fooling around. So. If you take a smart man and add a smart woman, that's a perfect recipe for long-lasting love as they both will find the right ways to make the relationship work. Combining smart man with stupid woman may very much result in pregnancy. If in the couple the man is the weaker link and the woman is the smart one, then this relationship may lead to marriage. And finally, if man and woman are both shallow-minded, there would be a huge and quite an epic fail. So. What's the most stupid relationship advice you've ever heard? Tell us in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your partner and all your friends. Subscribe to our channel to stay on the bright side.